Okay, proper hot take this. Uh, slightly sweaty hot take because I've just, I'm not feeling myself up. I'm just a little bit sweaty on this sort of merino base layer having just cycled home. I often get accused of being a bit of an architect of, uh, of my own misfortune with some of the shit that I listen to. And there's probably a good case to be made for that. And I, I've kind of done it once again because I listen to a, a Kevin Logan and Christy Winters hangout, one of their happy hour hangouts on the way home. In my defense, I tend to listen to them because I like listening to shit I disagree with a lot of the time. That's just the way I am. But also because they're about the right length. If, it, if I listen to something that's 20 minutes long, then I've got to keep stopping every 20 minutes to put something else on. If I listen to something that's three hours long, it's usually so fucking meandering that it's like you've not even heard anything within the first hour. And my ride, this time of year, my winter bike's about an hour and five minutes to get home. Um, so it's kind of, I, I watch it on length rather than, I hate to say that I, I watch Kevin Logan based on length, but that's kind of true in this particular instance. But I listened to this hangout and I got to say... I want to say that I've never heard a bigger load of end-to-end -end shit in my entire life. It's probably not true, but it's up there. Uh, because it was just one sort of slam-dunk load of bollocks after another. The purpose of the hangout, I think... Well, it, it was kind of meandering, but it focused on Mercedes Carrera. If you're not aware of Mercedes Carrera, she is the porn star that was involved in Gamergate, and she's sort of known for that as well. And she's recently been arrested along with her partner. I don't know if it's a husband or, or, or just lover or whatever. Uh, on, the, on child abuse allegations on the grounds that they've been abusing this, I think, nine-year-old girl. Kevin Logan referred to this girl as their daughter. I don't know. I hadn't read that, but, but whatever. Um, and it's in the media. Have a look in the media. Quite interesting. Uh, terrible if it's true. We'll have to wait and see. Another thing that's interesting, actually, and I say this looking like a bag of shit, having just got off my bike, is that if you look at the pictures, I'll probably throw them up on screen, actually. If you look at a picture of Mercedes Carrera made up and then the arrest picture where she looks an absolute bag of shit, it's when I see things like that that I wish it was more socially acceptable for men to wear makeup. Because if I could look at this bag of shit in the morning and think there is something that I can actually do about this, it's within my power to fix this face. Um, it, it must be kind of quite nice. It's kind of shocking the difference between the two Mercedes Carreras. Um, you'd hardly think it was the same person. Uh, but they kind of used that, I think, as a, really as an entree to sort of suggesting, ha, ah, this is the kind of people that are associated with Gamergate. Uh, even to the point of, of Kevin Logan. Uh, he's a shit, Kevin Logan. He's a human piece of excrement he really is he accused um carl benjamin he says oh carl benjamin's another one telling amos ye how to better sell his paedophilia sargon of Akkad does that with absolutely fucking everybody and you know that kevin logan he does that with absolutely every cunt including you he's he smugly likes to tell everybody how they can that he knows how they can sell their ideas better than they do and every single group of people whether it's the alt-right or whether it's the kevin logans and christy winters of this world or antifa whoever it is he will tell them that he knows how he could he knows how he could sell their ideas better than they do so when you pick out Amos Yee there and suggest that in some ways that suggests that Carl Benjamin is somehow sort of pedo-friendly, you know that's as much bollocks as anybody does. Um, but they try to use it to suggest, I think, that um, Mercedes Carrera, oh look, she's involved in Gamergate and she's a paedophile. Uh, it just sort of irked me a little bit that given their response when one of their friends, the sceptic feminist, shot his girlfriend and people made the link uh, between him being a feminist and shooting his girlfriend and in implying something to do with feminism. Look, it's yet another feminist man doing these things. They really fucking seriously objected to that and said, how can you suggest that his feminism had something to do with his act? That's atrocious thing for you to suggest. I agreed with them on that. I didn't think there was any relevance to that at all. And it was using it. It was using a terrible situation to try and gain some political mileage out of it. And people do that. And here they are, hypocrite fucks, 
doing exactly the same thing. There was a lot of hypocrisy in this hangout. Christy Winters has got a big thing about not picking on people's physical appearance. That's why she's blocked me on every form of social media because I once said that she looked a little bit like um, Roy Orbison and that's beyond the pale to pick on people's physical appearance and yet they had a sort of 10 minute segment picking on Gavin McInnes's uh, physical appearance again I just uh, the hypocrisy staggers me but the interesting thing and the reason that I made this video I'm, I'm this is this is proper sort of I'll take stuff uh, it's totally unscripted is that Christy Winters made one of the most fucking useless arguments that I've ever heard I mean Kevin Logan has an excuse he's a fucking security guard right you don't expect intellectual shit from him it's like me I'm just a fucking fucking nozzle ender firefighter I, I i have an excuse for being thick right christy winters is supposed to be clever and yet she comes out with the most mind-numbing fucking inane drivel uh it's just unbelievable uh, that she could hold herself in any regard when you come out with shit like this this is what she said and the reason i bring this up is because it's just evidence that effectively you can blame patriarchal society whatever happens if women are suppressed you can blame patriarchal society and when they're not oppressed well you can still blame patriarchal society whatever you see patriarchal society is wrong and this is what had happened They'd meandered from talking about Mercedes Carrera and how that evidence is, what a load of paedophiles gamergators are, uh, to, to the fact that Mercedes Carrera had been on this hangout, or done regular hangouts with Gavin McInnes, and they played this hangout. And as part of the hangout, Gavin McInnes had mentioned women um, gravitating to wearing more revealing clothing than men, and that he evidenced that with relation to Halloween costumes. And if you look at women's Halloween costumes, they are almost, uh, well, not almost universal, that would be wrong, but uh, there are a lot of very revealing Halloween costumes for women, and they seem to be the ones that sell particularly well if you look up those kinds of things. Do a search on Amazon, you'll find they're the ones that have got the most reviews, etc, etc. So, this is the point that he made, and Christy Winter's response, her intellectual fucking heavyweight response to this, is because well, those are the, the only what that all these, all the clothing companies in the world, right, according to Christy, are owned by men. And so, the, it's the this is the patriarchy only allowing women to wear revealing Halloween outfits. They refuse to wear more, they refuse to manufacture more discreet Halloween outfits for women. And that's why women aren't wearing them because they just aren't available. For how, isn't Halloween, modern Halloween, proof that women are dying to be slutty? They're dying to be attractive. Yeah. No, it's because th those are the only costumes that they make for us. Mm. Seriously, it's either the sexy nurse or the sexy witch or the sexy kitten or the flapper, which has no arms and is short sleeve. It's all, if you actually go and look at women's Halloween costumes, you find one that isn't slutty. So again, this is about, you know, um, women aren't the ones who are creating these costumes. These are male dominated companies putting out oh, these products. I've never heard so much shit in my entire life. This is Christy Winters, someone who claims to understand capitalism, claiming that the clothing industry is all run by men, and they're more than happy to forego for all the evils of capitalism that these left-wingers like to go on about, right, these socialists, I should say, like to go on about. Capitalists all of a sudden are quite prepared... Uh, to entirely forego what is a glaring hole in the market, apparently, which is much more frumpier Halloween outfits for women uh, because they're just not bothered about making that money. They'd rather make the same outfits as everybody else, right, and go in the ultra-competitive, sexy, sexualized female Halloween outfit market than to go into this empty market. That there's all these women out there just dying to buy... Um, these non-sexy Halloween outfits. I've never heard a bigger load of shit in my entire life. And what is evidenced of that is that what Gavin McInnes, and I'm no fan of Gavin McInnes, but what he was saying about Halloween outfits holds true of women's clothing gen generally, which is that if you go and look in the UK at Topshop, 
uh, or Primark or New Look at the women's clothing, it is more revealing than the men's clothing. Right? In each and every instance, women are going out there showing their legs, showing cleavage with their arms out. Men are not doing that. And the idea that this is because there's this huge, there's this multi-billion dollar untapped market of frumpy women's clothing. I keep saying frumpy. That's maybe a little bit of an unfair term for me to use. Less revealing women's clothing. But it's just men. Men are dominating it all. All these companies like New Look... Primark, etc., employ female buyers that go out there and select the women's fashion clothing for their next fucking range. It's not all men doing this, for fuck's sake. Do you, so all these women are in on it as well, are they? They're all part of the patriarchy, forcing women. Ah, I can only buy revealing clothing because that's all that sells, right? That's all they'll sell to me. Marks and Spencers has been going down the fucking pan in the UK the last few years. And one of the reasons it's gone down the pan, the main reason is because it relies on selling women's clothing. Then all the experts, including those at Marks and Spencers, are aware and are saying, we've got left behind. Our clothing is seen as too frumpy compared to our competitors. We need sexier clothing because women are not gravitating towards the clothing that we're selling. So it's not as if nobody's selling this shit. They're selling this clothing, but women don't want to buy it. And that was what really aggravated me about this stupid, insanely stupid argument that Christie was making here. It's not that Christie Winters is making an insanely stupid and ignorant fucking argument. She spent over an hour making those arguments in this hangout. It's that you realise that you're in a no-win situation. That even when you have a perfect situation where female buyers are going out for these companies and selecting the clothes that they as women and with their... You know, years and decades of knowledge in the fashion industry know he's going to be popular with women in the next year. It's still, you still have people like Christy Winter saying, oh no, the only reason that, that, that more revealing clothing is being put on the rails for women is because it's the patriarchy controlling the fashion industry and not giving women the choice to buy the clothes that they really want to wear. What an absolute load of horse shit. But a load of horseshit that shows that we will never, ever move past these arguments because you cannot do it. That even if you had a world where women were perfectly and utterly free to make unfettered choices as to what they do, you will still have absolute fucking pillocks like Christy Winters who will say, well, they're not making the choices I would like them to make. So it must be men. It must be men behind the scenes controlling everything. Eschewing profits. These evil fucking capitalists will try and take your last fucking penny who'd sell you your own fucking grandmother if they could. Refusing to sell women less revealing clothing. Refusing to sell women the clothes that they actually want and, st and instead going in the, into the hyper-competitive market of selling the same types of women's clothing as all their fucking competitors. That is how much fucking sense it makes. Okay, that's it. Think I've got it off my chest. Go out, I can go and have a shower now. Thanks for watching. Bye.